Accra versus Kumasi. Partly located on the cliff along the Gulf of Guinea in West Africa is the city of Accra, Ghana. Accra, one of West Africa's largest and most influential cities, stands on the shoulders of the region's legendary cities and kingdoms that came before it. From the mighty Ashanti and Mali empires to the city of Tumbuktu, Accra, Ghana's large youthful city, has a complicated history and a beautiful culture, both of which have a strong influence on the things to do in Accra. Now moving on to another influential city in Ghana, we find Kumasi. Kumasi was founded around 1680 by Osei Tutu, the first king of the Ashanti Empire, and became the empire's capital city. Kumasi is said to have gotten its name from the Kum tree under which Tutu sat while negotiating the terms of the land. The city was at the heart of the empire's national culture, and it housed both the Ashanti Imperial Palace and the Golden Stool, the empire's symbol of power. Kumasi prospered economically as a result of its proximity to nearby gold fields, as well as a number of international trade routes. It is a fact that both Accra and Kumasi are all great cities in Ghana. But in this video, we shall put them against each other to see which city is more influential than the other. We shall match them in various factors such as their economy, geography, infrastructure and even their quality of life to determine which city adds more value to its motherland. So stay tuned as we take both cities toe to toe with each other beginning with their geography. Accra is derived from the Akan word Nkran, which means ant, and refers to the numerous ant hills seen in the Accra countryside. The city is located on the coastal savanna zone. From a height of 150 meters, the almost flat and featureless Accra plains descend gradually to the gulf. The topography east of the city is defined by ridges and valleys, whereas the low plains to the west are defined by broader valleys and round low hills with a few rocky headlands. The land is mostly flat and covered in grass and scrub, with patches of coconut palms along the coast. The annual rainfall is low, averaging 810 mm and falling over fewer than 80 days. The main rainy season lasts from March to June, with a minor rainy season in October. Temperatures range from 24 degrees Celsius in August to 27 degrees Celsius in March. Accra's low elevation, clayish soil, inadequate and undersized drains, and the dumping of refuse into drains and water bodies all contribute to flooding almost every year. As for Kumasi, the city has a tropical wet and dry climate, with fairly consistent temperatures throughout the year. Kumasi receives approximately 1400 mm of rain per year. The city has almost two rainy seasons, one longer season from March to July and one shorter season from September to November. The months of February through November are one long wet season with a brief respite in August. Kumasi, like the rest of West Africa, experiences Hamatan during the low sun months. The Hamatan, which lasts from December to February, is the main source of the city's dry season. Moving on next, we'll take a look at their economy. Accra is Ghana's administrative, economic and educational center. Accra is home to large open markets that handle food supplies. Financial and government services, communications, construction, transportation and agriculture are the primary economic activities. Over 70% of Ghana's manufacturing capacity is concentrated in the capital region. Accra's roads are well kept. The public transport system consists of a mix of privately owned minibuses known as trotros, taxis and buses. Trotros are typically converted minibuses that follow a well-established route. Some taxis also operate regular routes, which are more expensive but provide a more comfortable ride. In 2002, the city began offering metro bus services. On the other hand, Kumasi's strategic geographic location makes it a brisk commercial and administrative center, 
and it is frequently regarded as Ghana's commercial capital. With West Africa's largest open area market, the Kumasi Central Market. The estimated consumer market reachable in one day of ground travel is 12 million people. Kumasi has already piqued the interest of a number of large foreign investors. Archer Daniels Midland ADM has had a cocoa processing facility in Kumasi since July 2009. Coca Cola and Guinness, which both have bottling plants in the city, are two other major players with a strong presence. Another compelling reason to invest in Kumasi is the abundance of natural resources in the surrounding area. Because of Kumasi's proximity to Bonsaso Millennium Village and its close connections to surrounding agricultural districts, city manufacturers have ready access to a variety of agricultural products such as cocoa, oil palm, plantain, cassava, cocoyam, vegetables, and a variety of fruits. Looking at their infrastructure, the city of Accra is facing the challenge of rapid urbanization and motorization, which has crippled the current transportation system, resulting in huge traffic congestion and gridlock, and negatively affecting urban mobility and productivity. Accra's architecture ranges from large and elegant 19th century colonial buildings to skyscrapers and apartment blocks made of concrete, glass, and steel. Many of Accra's ever expanding population lives in shanty towns on the outskirts of the city. Accra is home to the National Museum of Ghana, which houses exhibits depicting Ghana's prehistoric heritage, as well as the Ghana Academy of Art and Sciences the National Archives of Ghana, and Ghana's Central Library. The National Theatre with its distinctive modern architecture, a lighthouse, Ohene Jan Stadium, the W.E.B. Dubois Memorial Centre for Pan-African Culture, and several beaches are also noteworthy. On the side of Kumasi, Kumasi has the infrastructure needed to conduct business in the city with a good road network, a thriving telecommunications industry, and adequate water and electricity supply. In addition, Kumasi is home to Ghana's second largest airport. Four local airlines operate daily flights between Kumasi and Accra, the country's capital, and other cities as well. There are also numerous healthcare facilities in the city, including the highly regarded Komfo Anoke Teaching Hospital. Demographics The Accra metropolitan area has a population of more than 2 million people. Accra is the economic and administrative center of the Greater Accra region, as well as the anchor of the larger Greater Accra metropolitan area, Gama, which is home to approximately 4 million people, making it Africa's 13th largest metropolitan area. Between 1960 and 1970, Accra's manufacturing and commercial sectors experienced rapid industrialization and expansion. This contributed to a high rate of rural urban migration to the city, and as a result, a high rate of population growth. The Ghanaian economy's stagnation in the 1970s slowed Accra's population growth. The Accra metropolitan area's primacy as the Greater Accra region's administrative, educational, industrial and commercial centre remains a major force in its population growth, with immigration accounting for more than 35% of Accra's population growth. In the future, decentralisation is expected to reduce migration rates. Kumasi Metropolis accounts for 36.2% of the total population of the Ashanti region. There are 47.8% males and 52.2% females. The Metropolis has a land area of 214.3 square kilometers, accounting for 0.9% of the region's total land area of 24,389 square kilometers. The population density in the metropolis is 8,075 people per square kilometre. Kumasi has the Komfo Anoke Teaching Hospital, the West End Hospital, and several other private hospitals, public clinics, and hospitals to support medical training at the university. Kumasi Rabito Clinic 
Located at Ohondo Daban Kumasi, behind the Unity Oil Filling Station, is a recommended private medical facility. There is also the Kainost Hospital, which serves the university as well as the surrounding communities. Lastly, we have quality of life. Many people born and raised in Accra have parents who migrated from their respective towns and villages to settle in Accra in search of an opportunity to make it in life. No man's land, a very popular phrase depicting the fact that Accra is home to people from different walks of life. It is one of the most diverse cities on the continent in terms of ethnicity. Ghana rarely experiences the tension that plagues other multi-ethnic countries. The country owes this to the fact that the different ethnicities within coexist peacefully among themselves. Most Ghanaians who live in Accra who do not know their roots tend to choose Accra as their hometown. Accra has a bustling nightlife and the fawn is mainly found at Osu Oxford Street, which has fast become the hub of business and nightlife in Accra. Kumasi, dubbed the Garden City of West Africa, is a city you will want to call home, like the current over 1.4 million residents who live there. You'll find it difficult to live once you move there, as there are so many things to do, places to see, people to meet, and elements of culture and history to study. Whatever your field of interest, Kumasi has a whole wealth of it for you to indulge in. Filled with very enterprising people, Kumasi is always a buzz with one business activity or the other. People from other parts of the country and the continent travel to Kumasi's central markets for some great deals on goods and services they require. Prices of goods and services are very reasonable and affordable here, and you can be certain to find a house or apartment well within your budget to rent or buy when you come to the inevitable conclusion that you want to put some roots down here for a while. Although Accra is a great city, the quality of life is way more expensive than that of Kumasi. This brings us to the end of our video, but before leaving, what are your thoughts on both cities? Is Kumasi capable of outperforming Accra in the nearest future? Please let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks for watching.